It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Um, I don't know if you guys were following the news today, but a space rocket that was spinning out of control just minutes ago crashed into the ocean. And for once, we know it's not Elon's fault. <laughs> a lot of people have been wondering, why is he hosting our show? And now we know it's because he needed an alibi. <laughs> Jeff, Bezos, <laughs> Jeff Bezos' rocket company, Blue Origin, is auctioning off one seat on the first flight of its passenger rocket. Wow. Why are all these rich white people trying to go to space? <laughs> Look, if there's any Martians watching this, uh, when you see a bunch of foreign ships pull up on your land, take it from a black dude, don't get on them. <laughs> Unless you want to be a Martian with the last name Washington. <laughs> <laughs> a prominent white nationalist has begun posting manifestos online. Oh, I'm sorry, that was the sub-headline. The headline was, Donald Trump launches new blog. <laughs> That's right, disgraced former fast food spokesman Donald Trump <laughs> has launched a website called From the Desk of Donald J. Trump, though a more accurate name would be From the Brain Fog of Long Haul COVID. <laughs> I don't understand why the Republican Party is still betting their entire future on Trump. He turns 75 next month. It's like getting your family an old dog and saying, hey, kids, invest all your emotions in this. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who played the short bully in A Christmas Story, <laughs> signed new restrictive voting laws that limits the locations of drop boxes and new requirements for voting by mail. Wow, since when does Florida care so much about the law? You know, last time I was in Florida, I saw a lady lighting fireworks with a crack pipe. Worst gender reveal ever. <laughs> Experts say that one of the biggest obstacles to herd immunity is that many white evangelical Christians are refusing the vaccine. And look, evangelical Christians, I know you guys want to get into heaven, but it's not a race. <laughs> <laughs> a new report also shows that CVS is responsible for half of all unused vaccine shots in the nation. CVS is also responsible for half of the nation's room temperature white claw. <laughs> I guess that we shouldn't have expected top-notch inventory management from the store that's still trying to unload Halloween candy in March. Kamala Harris will become the first vice president to be featured as a wax figure at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, while Joe Biden is the first wax figure to become president. <laughs> it was announced that Verizon will sell AOL and Yahoo, I assume, to the year 1998. <laughs> <laughs> New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that Broadway could reopen on September 14th, except for the new musical about Cuomo's handling of the pandemic, Nursing Homa. 